chemistry. It is the chemistry of three dimensions, the chemistry of isomer, and it's called the heart of chemistry. Benefit of stereochemistry in pharmacy are 1. Increase receptor selectivity and potency. 2. Decrease adverse effect. 3. Decrease dose giving to patients. 4. Decrease potential drug drug interaction. 5. Increase safety margin. Chirality. Chirality is a word come from the jerk board chire, means hand. Chiral atom. It is bent to four different groups. While a chiral atom, it is bent to not four different groups. Isomers. Isomers are compound with the same molecular formula to fear in the physical and or chemical properties. Isomers are divided into 1. Constitutional isomer. Isomer with the same formula to fear in connectivity of atoms. For example, ether and ethanol. 2. Stereoisomer. Isomers have the same formula and connectivity, but differ in the arrangement of their atoms. Stereoisomers are divided into 1. Diastromers. Diastromers are not mirror image of each other. While in antimer, stereoisomers that are mirror image are superimposed. When two isomers are in the same compound, the compound is called racemic mixture, for example, ofloxacin. Ofloxacin. Ofloxacin is a synthetic antibiotic of the fluoroclonal drug class. Mechanism. It is functioned by inhibiting DNA gyrase, thereby inhibiting bacterial cell division. Brand name is of looks. Structure of looksacin is a rhizomic mixture. It's R form, which consists 50% of S isomer, levofluxacin, the biological active component, and the other 50% is. Mirror image or enantiomer, R isomer, dextrofluxacin. The structure of ofluxacin. In this video, I'm going to explain the structure of ofluxacin. Ofluxacin consists of 18 carbon atoms, 20 hydrogen, 3 nitrogen, 4 oxygen and one fluorine. Chirality of ofloxacin. Ofloxacin has only one chiral center which is this carbon atom because it binds to four different groups which are this nitrogen atom and this carbon atom which binds to hydrogen and oxygen and the methyl group and hydrogen. Isomers of ofloxacin. According to the law, which give us the number of isomers, where n is the number of chiral center, and since ofloxacin has only one chiral center, so it has two isomers. These isomers are dextrofluxacin and levofluxacin, and both are mirror image, not superimposed. So. Levofluxacin, the first isomer, in which the methyl group is at the front and the hydrogen at the back, and we call it S isomer because if we try to order the atom that bind to the carbon chiral according to their atomic number, then we will give this nitrogen number one because nitrogen has the highest atomic number, and then we will give the carbon atom which binds to hydrogen and oxygen number two. And then we will give the methyl group number 3 and the hydrogen number 4. So 
its anti-clockwise is isomer. The other isomer, which is dextrofluxacine, in which the methyl group at the back and the hydrogen at the front. And we call it R isomer because the nitrogen will take number one, this carbon number two, methyl group number three, the hydrogen in the front number four. So anti clockwise, but we make shift between three and four. So from S to R, then R isomer. Action of isomers on the polarimeter. In order to understand the effect of isomers on the polarimeter, we have to know some points about the polarimeter. Polarimeter consists of left hand skull, right hand skull, knob, a light source sample cell in which we put the container that contain the sample in it and the container so how does the polarimeter work After you put the sample in the polarimeter, turn the polarimeter. You will notice a change in the lightness. If light on sides and dark in the middle, Turn knob clockwise, this is a positive scale or dextroratory, same thing with dextrofluxacine. But in the other case, or the opposite case, if dark on sides and light in the middle, turn knob anticlockwise and read the left hand scale, this is a negative scale or levatatory, same thing with levfluxacine. Then turn knob until the field is all the same lightness and choose the appropriate skull and read num the number through it. Potency of isomers This isomer of fluxacine was 8 to 128 times more potent or active than the other isomer are isomer and approximately two times more active than the resmate is in art of fluxacine. This isomer, levofluxacine, has been separated as a drug and its brand name is levobact. Those, since levofluxacine is two times active than the resmate mixture of fluxacine, the dose of levofluxacine tab is one tablet daily. While the dose of fluxacine is two tablet daily. Route of administration orally intravenous administration typically used as eye drops and air drops. Medical uses. It's used for one, acute bacterial sinusitis. Two, acute bacterial infection of chronic bronchitis. Three, complicated skin and skin structure infection. Four, mixed infection of urethra and cervix. Five, acute pelvic inflammatory disease. Six, complicated urinary tract infection and prostitutes. Seven, inhalational anthrax.
side effects, nausea, diarrhea, constipation, stomach pain or cramps, vomiting, lose of appetite, dry mouth, headache, dizziness, excessive tiredness, pain, swelling or itching of the vagina.